Um, so in 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 that sense, uh, the fear is part of the social discourse, or but also part of every every individual's kind of personal life or personal thought process. Then. Ja, jeg tenker på det ofte som en personlig utvidelse, da. Både teater og film, og selvfølgelig all kunst. Det er jo på et personlig plan. Det kan selvfølgelig være også på et, i et samfunnsmessig perspektiv, men det er jo mest på det personlige plan, ja. Um, yeah, more in a personal sort of broadening way. I mean, theater, film, all the arts, actually, um, but also as a as a tool for society or in a sort of a sociological setting. Yeah. Um, why did you choose to uh, become a playwright? You've been an actress for many years. What prompted that change in your life? Jeg var ansatt skuespiller i, på den nasjonale scenen i Bergen i åtte år. Og jeg var der under den tiden som ettertid er blitt kalt det norske prosjektet under Tom Remlov. I uh, worked for eight years at the uh, nasjonale scene, a theater in Bergen. And I was there during a period which has been referred to as the Norwegian project under uh, theater director Tom Remlov. Og da spilte vi veldig mye nytt norsk. Eh, Jon Fosse eh, skrev sitt første stykke i den perioden. Now we, during this time, played a lot of new Norwegian writing. Jon Fosse, for instance, wrote his first play uh, at this time. Og um, vi huset også Norsk Dramatikkfestival der uh, et par år. We hosted the uh, Norsk Dramatikkfestival, the Norwegian Drama Festival, or Writers Festival. Og, så det er nok inspirert av uh, alt det arbeidet jeg var med på som skuespiller uh, i denne tiden. Men uh, uh, også at uh, ja, jeg skrev mitt første stykke da og sendte inn til Dramatikkfestivalen i, mens jeg var i Bergen. Uh. So it's uh, very much a, a result or a product of the inputs and the experiences and everything I went through during this time, but also the fact that I uh, wrote my first piece at that time and submitted it to the festival that we were holding. Mm. Jeg har nok hele tiden hatt i meg en slags sånn, uh, et dilemma mellom det utøvende og det som er mer ensomt og, uh, og tilbaketrukket og det å produsere noe som skal et sted, ja, å skrive. I've uh, probably always carried this dilemma between being at the front line and the spot line or more in the background producing something uh, that is to be put forward. Mm. And then how did the shift happen? Or well, I mean you you now write for for any of the, you know, age group, but but how how did it happen that you wrote your first piece for a younger audience? Uh, det var uh, for uh, connections for Goose in Norge. Uh, som jeg ble invitert til å skrive for. Mm. Og um, så det var det første stykket jeg skrev for egentlig. Mm. And that was uh, for Connections of Deuce in Norwegian, uh, where I was invited to write, and uh, that, was, that was my first piece for Deuce. Do you think you would have ended up writing for young audiences if it hadn't been for the Connections? Uh, ja, det ville jeg nok. Men... Uh, Det er klart at å få et bestillingsverk, det betyr forferdelig mye, på alle måter. Og man strekker sig langt for å gjøre et bestillingsverk bra. Og, så, og så skal man tjene penger. Ja, yeah, I probably would, but um, being commissioned to write a piece means a lot in, in all senses of the word. And, um, you, you do that extra effort, you put that extra effort into it, and ultimately, I mean, we all have to earn a living. Men når det er sagt, så uh, har det jo, disse stykkene har skrevet for ungdom og barn, har jo gjort at jeg egentlig veldig gjerne vil gjøre mer av det. But that being said, that the pieces I have written for, for kids and youth, teenagers, um, has just triggered me to want to write more for that field. 
Can you, can you tell us why? What is it about writing for young audiences that inspires you? Det er vanskelig å si. Det er kanskje fordi at man er... Man er tvunget til å skjære ned til beinet på en måte. Det er, man, man må være veldig konkret, opplever jeg. Og... Eh, man, man kan ikke tulle med noen ting. Man kan ikke bade i hverken det ene eller det andre. It's hard to pinpoint exactly uh, what it is, but uh, you have to be very precise. You have to really cut to the chase. You can't indulge in a lot of extravaganza and, and sort of, yeah. Men det, det krever en stramhet som jeg liker veldig godt. Hmm. Uh, at du er precis og sier akkurat det du skal. It involves an uh, attention to preciseness or detail that I, that I really like, and you have to be very specific and, and say exactly what you want to say. Mm. And for, because if you don't, you... Da har du tapt. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you've lost. <laughs> det, jeg har jo spilt en del for ungdom også. Og uh, det er klart når du sitter med 300 skoleelever og, på en formiddag, hvor det ikke er noe mat for noen å gå på teater, og skal spille Ibsen, eller hva du spiller, så du skal jobbe altså, for å holde, holde, holde det rimelig stille. I mean, I've acted for, uh, um, for say, 300 students or kids uh, in a theater. It's midday, it's the time of day where they normally wouldn't go to the theater, and you're doing, say, Ibsen or one of the more classic playwrights. And uh, you really have to work, you really have to focus it in to, to get anywhere. And that is a challenge that, that you appreciate. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's very really good. I think it's a very meaningful job to try to get to the young people. Absolutely. I enjoy it a lot and it, uh, it gives me a lot of meaning. It's, it's very meaningful work to me to try to find that way to, to reach young kids. Hmm. Mm. One final question. Yeah. We're reaching the end of the interview. Um, if you were to mentor a young playwright or an emerging playwright, somebody who wanted to write for young audiences for the first time, what would be your main advice to this person? I think that I would anbefale det som jeg som betydde veldig mye for mig og det var rett og slett å oppsøke en uh, ungdomsskole, hvis man skal skrive for uh, ungdom, og uh, følge elevene et par dager. Det var uh, veldig nyttig. I think I would probably recommend what to me was very helpful and meaningful when I started out, which was, you know, approach a school, a middle school, or whatever your target, target audience is, and experience that as a student, as a kid with them. Wonderful. It's very practical and very sound advice, I think. Yeah. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank yeah. you, uh, Lee. Thank you, Michael, for interpreting. Uh, it's been wonderful.